we're going over Tower Bridge in Sacramento. Going to the record store. And here's Rocket Records in Sacramento, California, in Old Sac downtown off of J Street and 24th. Had a very nice trip to Sacramento, once again, Sacramento, California, down by the river. And uh, in West Sacramento, there's a nice record store called Rocket Records. It's on 24th Street near J, J Street that is. And they call it Midtown. Uh, it's, it's downtown Sacramento. Wonderful store. Augie is the owner, so friendly. If you go by there, please so say hello to Augie for me from JT. And yes, I am back in the record room. And uh, so I did buy six records there. And I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, the opening of this video is that's Tower Bridge that uh, runs over the Sacramento River into uh, what we call Midtown, West Sacramento, downtown. Really nice area. If you're in Northern California, stop by. And so let me go ahead and get started with what I have here. I bought six records. And I didn't go really, really big, but I found uh, titles that I really uh, wanted. And here's a hole that I wanted to fill, and that's Johnny Winters, Still Alive and Well. And this album is so memorable to me. In 1973, I uh, trudged through the snow at North Lake Tahoe through three and four feet of snow. And back when I was a 16-year-old kid, we just wore tennis shoes, and we'd hike from house to house through snowdrifts to other friends' houses. And I went to Russell Kelly's house to listen to this record and uh, you know, took my soaking wet shoes off and let them dry and just hung out all day, smoked some weed, had some fun, still alive and well. This is a great album. And this, um, this has two Rolling Stones covers on it. This has Silver Train and Let It Bleed. And you have... Uh, Rick Derringer is on this, and also Todd Rundgren plays on this album as well. Rock Me Baby, you've got Still Alive and Well, Too Much Sick and All, All Tore Down, really great. Here's the, the great late Johnny Winter. I saw him twice live, and, you know, I'm a guitar guy, and when I saw him, those two, no, three times actually, I would just marvel at, like, I've never seen anybody that could play guitar that good. That's how good Johnny Winter was, especially when you would see him live. And here's a great back cover. And this is just on the Red Columbia. So the next record I got was um, a gal that was married to Lou Reed. 
And this is uh, this is an album by Laurie Anderson called Home of the Brave. This was really, really affordable. And I went ahead and bought it. This is very avant-garde experimental. She's a filmmaker. Adrian Ballou's on this and William S. Burroughs. Anything with uh, Bill Burroughs in it, I have to watch. So I'm really glad to have this soundtrack by Laurie Anderson. And uh, yeah, she was with Lou for a number of years. I believe they married around 2008. But she uh, met him back in the early to mid-90s and realized that they were neighbors in uh, New York City. There's Laurie. And yes, it is digital. That's okay. <laughs> you know, I have plenty of analog sourced uh, vinyl. So Home of the Brave, a film by Laurie Anderson, my next uh, find. Now, here's a Canadian band uh, that originated out in Nova Scotia, formed in 1969. But this is, this is Power Play from 1982. And yes, you have enough uh, enough is enough on here. Let me show you the hype. Great, great band. Hard rock, metal, fantastic. And I'd never had any, any April wine on CD or vinyl. So I definitely want to get uh, a couple more. This is really, really cool. And my next album to show is a is a record I've wanted on vinyl for a really long time. I ha I've had the CD forever. And um, this is Rough Mix with Ronnie Lane and Pete Townsend. Just fantastic. Eric Clapton plays on this. John Entwistle. Charlie Watts. Ian Stewart, who is really the co-founder back in 63 of the Rolling Stones. Um, great, great record. The late... Ronnie Lane, so fantastic. Ooh la la, baby. What a, what a nice, gentle voice uh, from the small faces. Just fantastic. Look at the songs here. Really pleased to have Rough Mix from the great friends Ronnie Lane and Pete Townsend. Now, here's a record. This is Sealed, and this is The Road by The Kinks. And this was recorded in Philadelphia and uh, between Columbia, Maryland and Philadelphia. And most of this show was in Philly. And really glad to have this. This is sealed. And here's the songs on the back. I'm compiling some more uh, Kinks records. Uh, there are so many. And now I have quite a few. I don't know. I have 12 or 13 or so. And my very last record that I bought is a San Francisco psychedelic band that formed really early, actually 1965. And they were the first band to chart for a, a let's say, a San Francisco psych single. And that was early January 1967 with Hello, Hello, and that's Sop with Camel. This is on Kama Sutra. When I saw this, I just couldn't believe it. I did pay... I paid about $18 for this, but look, a 50, a 55 year old record or so, no, 54 year old record, still in the shrink. Really cool. And uh, Augie and I talked about this, the owner. He's just so cool. Augie was a tower uh, record manager, and my friend Ted Dugan was as well. They didn't know each other, but that was a real family. And tower records guys started in Sacramento, California. Oh, and the main store was over on Watt Avenue. So, Sop with Camel, one of the very, very early San Francisco psychedelic, uh, well, psych scene bands, that is. And uh, this is really their only album. This is on Kama Sutra. And they got back together in around 1971 and put out another nice record. So here's the back cover. Great back cover, right? Now let me show you that hype for a hello, hello. And uh, the inner sleeve really, really promotes the Love and Spoonful. You know, that was their big act on Kama Sutra. Well, that's it for the six records that I bought at uh, Rocket Records on 24th Street. 
in Midtown Sacramento, California, and guys, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. All right.